this video demonstrates how we test iron wood electronics clamshell elastomer socket as you can see iron wood electronics clamshell elastomer socket is mounted on a green color daisy chain pcb with a backing plate so the backing plate has four screws it connects through the board and connects the socket now the socket is connected to a board which closely emulates connecting the socket to a customer's target board. You can see the chip here very tiny. This particular one is a 7x7 7 7 array 0.5 millimeter pitch BGA. This has a A1 corner marked on it which is a black spot and there is a A1 corner on the socket. I am going to place this tiny device inside that matches the A1 corner. So once when this thing is placed in the socket, all I have to do is close the lid and apply the force by turning the screws. It has to be noted that you can apply the force just by simply turning it all the way tight but it is a better idea to apply a force using a torque driver. The reason being that is if you over torque it you will end up damaging the elastomer. So in this particular case we are applying 6 inch ounce of torque which is basically calculated for a 49 pin count PGA. So you put the torque and then once when the torque is applied the screw will start slipping which tells that enough torque is applied. The next step is to test if the daisy chain BGA is all completely connected, which it is. You can see from the multimeter, if we are checking the complete daisy chain of the socket, which shows 1.2 ohms for all 49 pins in a series, which means it comes down to 25 milliohms per solder ball. This demonstrates the testing of the clamshell iron wood electronics elastomer socket and testing with the daisy chain device and the PCB. Thank you.